hello, 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 beautiful people, and welcome back. Thank you so much for all your love, support, your kindness, your hospitality. Thank you for being you, such a gem to this earth. You hear me? A gem to this earth, that is you. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about following your dreams and we're going to talk about a little bit about my experience in Kenya, right, in Nairobi, Kenya. And I talked to you all about how my uncle was murdered back home and home is where I am now. But he was murdered back home and I got the call when I was in the immigration line. Right when I landed, got into the immigration line, and I got a text message from my cousin saying that your uncle, Tony's dead. When I heard and when I read that message, I had to call. I had to call fast. And so when I called, I was like, it was, it was, her, it's her dad. So I called and I was like, yo, like, how? What are you talking about? You're lying. That doesn't make any sense. And she was like, he was helping his friend. His friend got something stolen from him. And so he grabbed my uncle and was like, hey, let's go get the guy that stole the stuff from me. And so when they approached the guy that stole the stuff, the guy shot my uncle and killed him. And I was heartbroken. I didn't know if I should go home. I bought one-way tickets. I didn't know how I could afford going home. I didn't know what to do. And so after talking to my family and talking to my friends, they told me that I should still chase after my dream because that's what my uncle would want me to do. To me, I didn't understand. To me, I was like, no, my family needs me. But then I realized that I could help them wherever I'm at. They don't need me physically, but I could still help them. So I helped my cousin with the process of the funeral as much as I can. Communication was hard. I helped her create um, a, like a girlfriend thing because my uncle didn't have insurance and spread the message that way. And we raised enough to get the funeral paid for. And so I missed my uncle's funeral. <laughs> and that was hard. I'm in a foreign land. I'm now with my family. I'm traveling solo. I'm meeting people either for the first time or the second time in my life. People think that I met, I knew these people in Kenya. People think that I knew my friend in my last video. No, not really. I met them for the second time. Like the first time I met them was three years ago for my study abroad trip. And they invited me back out to Africa. And I, after thinking about it for three years, I decided to go. And I'm glad I went. Anyways, the message of the story is follow your dreams regardless of the obstacles that are put in your way. Follow your dreams regardless of the obstacles that are put in your way. You have to continue to go. You have to continue to move. You have to feel those feelings during the times that the situation happened. Meaning, I cried. I told them about the situation I was going through, but yet I still smiled. I still kept on pushing through. I knew that that's what my uncle wanted me to do. He wanted me to live my wildest dreams. He wanted me to be the happiest that I can be. He wanted me to be me. You know, we have to believe in ourselves. We have to continue to push. We have to face those obstacles, not jump over them. They're not hurdles. We gotta face them. We gotta dig deep and listen to them. We gotta listen to myself, hear myself. There was days, there was days that I was listening to myself. Like Geneva, go home. Geneva, no, don't go home. Geneva, go home. And I realized like, what am I going to do when I get home? Plan a funeral? 
And then what am I going to do? When am I going to get this opportunity again? So I realized that. Yes, it's a privilege for me to be able to do what I did. But at the same time, we have to understand that life doesn't wait for nobody. My uncle was brave. He stepped out on faith to help his friend. And his life was taken away because of that. Now that is living. That is living. Being brave and having faith in every step you take and supporting those that you love and caring and pushing and fighting those obstacles. Because I, I know for a fact, like my uncle didn't know what was going to happen when he faced the man who killed him. But he did it. You know what I'm saying? He did it because his friend needed him. Do things because you need you. Do things because your friend needs you. Do things because your family needs you. And yes, my family had me. Regardless if I was physically there, I checked in. I spread love. I shared the message. You don't have to physically be somewhere to be there. So call those people that's been on your mind. Talk to those people that you've been thinking about. Love those people that are around you and far away. Now that's living. After losing my uncle's brother, which is my father, I realized that Every day I have to live my life leaving a legacy. And what that means is that every day that I live, I know I put my best foot forward. Because no day is promised for me. No day is promised to you. So I put my best foot forward. I tell those I love them. I tell them that I care for them. And there are days that I fall off. And there are days that I get mad. There are those days. But we have to realize, and that's something I'm still doing, that no day is promised. So let's wrap this up. <laughs> Life is about living. Life is about living. Life is about living your wildest dreams. So what is your wildest dreams? What is something that you've been thinking about constantly? What's something that you think about that is waking you up at night? What is something that is telling you that you need to do? What is something that is holding you back? What is your biggest fear? Life is not to be lived in fear. There is something that I don't want to do. I've jumped out of a plane. I kissed a giraffe in the mouth. <laughs> I drove across country. I traveled to a lot of countries. I lived in a country for about a three months. I solo travel a lot of times. I meet strangers. I love strangers. I love you. I love me. That's the biggest one. Loving yourself. So, what is life about? Life is about living and being true to who you are and following your dreams regardless of obstacles you're going to face. Because even after I lost my dad, after I lost my uncles, after I lost family members dear to my heart, my grandpa, you know, like, after losing these people, that doesn't stop anything. I gotta live for me. I have to live for me. I have to live for them. And I have to live both of our legacies. Anyways, I hope you all have a phenomenal day filled with love, happiness, and reassurance. Kisses.